I have just finished up the final edits of this round for Path of a Witch, which means now the fun begins. It's formatting day, guys. Let's jump in. I wouldn't say I completely forgot how fun formatting was, but I also forgot how much fun this was. I'm only on chapter three, <laughs> and it's been like an hour. Like, it's just a lot. I did figure out a better system than last time where I was having to find the words that were italicized or bold or whatever. I fixed the original document because again, I keep my chapters separate before I make them into a whole giant one. Each chapter is its own thing. And uh, yeah, have the formatting there. Change it to the right font, size, stuff like that. The formatting, um, change it there and then just copy it over and make sure it fits like it needs to. Because like, I don't want a heading at the bottom of a page kind of a thing, but it makes it go so much faster. But yeah, it's still dragon, dragon it. I, I'm hoping I'll get it done today, but it's already 10 o'clock and I have to leave the house today. So this is a long process. It is a very long process. Like it's not hard, it's just tedious. So like we're just chilling with some jazz music in the background and we'll see if I can get it done today. Might be tomorrow, but hoping for today. Got a refill on my tea and now to continue. We're on chapter three. And also, yes, we're doing the unesthetically pleasing uh, setup here because I don't care. We have my old desk that's like the finish is coming off and this because of the kitty cat. But isn't she so cute? Anytime I come in and out of the office, she's curious about what I'm up to because she was asleep in the sun and now she's just casually taken a bath. So I've made it through the section that I wanted to get done. So I wanted to get halfway through the formatting before we left the house. Thankfully, I nailed it. So now I can leave. And basically my dad's got some health stuff going on. So I am helping with my husband to haul some of the wood from the basement all the way up the stairs <laughs> so that he doesn't have to do it and uh, keep warm and not have to use as much propane. And so, yeah, we're gonna run over and do that. But I've got through the June section. I'm in July now. So while the hubby is getting ready, I am gonna keep going, see how much more I can get done, but hopefully I can get this formatting to go. Cause now I've kind of got a system and routine going. It's going faster than it was before, but I did find a few edits that I missed <laughs> because when my husband does it, he just picks random colors and just adds it in and that's his commentary. And sometimes I miss them when he picks ones that are really close to black and I'm like, honey, you gotta stop using these colors. And he hasn't since, but there's a few of the early chapters where I was like, oh, that's different, cool. Cause I'm looking at it more of just the text itself right now, not like the words that are written. And I've caught a few of those and I'm like, well, they were good things at least. And I was like, this is a really good section. And I'm like, thank you. So we're getting there, but yeah, I'm. The quest to get it formatted today is real. Firewood project is completed. Got that done. And then we decided to stop by the store for a minute while we were on the way home so that my hubby can get a tomato because he wants to have it on his burger tonight. And I was like, give me a treat. So he's gonna get me a Twix or something on his way out the door and then head home. Hopefully gonna finish up the formatting today. We have hit that point. We're at the point oh one. Let's see how many it's gonna take before it might not suck for at least the first edition of this round <laughs> with getting the proof copy. You know what's the best part? Every single time, without fail, I get to this stage. Why do I not have the description of the book? <laughs> Every single time, without fail, I always forget. Every single time. So here we are. Now I gotta go write the description of the book before I can even upload the things of the book that I've already done. I need to, I need to have that as like a thing I do early in the, in the process to be like, Hey, describe your book. That would be handy. So we're not here. We made it so far. Yep. I, I made it to the first page. I didn't actually even get to uploading the format things yet. ISBN number. Yep, that would be a good thing to have, but I don't get that until I start filling this stuff out, so ISBN. And so our journey begins. We are actively fighting the glare, but look at this. Isn't it beautiful? 
I think that's the fastest cover creator I've ever had to do ever. I mean, my picture stands out like a sore thumb, but it also looks really stupid to have that square there and um, nothing there if you don't have that picture because then it's just like indented awkwardly. So like, whatever. But yeah, isn't it gonna be so beautiful? I haven't checked in for a bit, but we're at 2.3 so far. So it is going great. We've hit my favorite question. You were fine. You, you, right here, this, why? Why are you now a problem? You were fine. I was ahead of here, but now you're a problem. I always show the bad pages, but look, look, look at it being perfect. Isn't it beautiful? And then we come to the literal next one and it's a problem. Yay. So the curse and blessing is it only seems to really be these pages that are the problem. And if I'm at October, I only got a couple more and then I'll be free. And then I can hit, please let me buy a copy of my own book. And then I can go to bed. So now it's just on the wrong side entirely. Even though I added two pages. Why are you here? At least there's only like three more of these monsters. 2.9. Is it gonna be the winner? I feel like not. But maybe like 3.3? Maybe? It's way past my bedtime. And I know it's not late, it's eight o'clock, but I'm usually in bed long before this. But look at the beauty. We're so close. So I'm gonna order my proof and then I'll probably actually get to order it in the morning because it's gonna take a few hours. But look at it, isn't it just gonna be so pretty? I'm so excited for it. Like this cover is stunning. I hope other people are gonna like this book. But look at it, it's so pretty. I say that about all of my covers though, to be fair, I usually end up loving my covers. My last book, not as much. It like it was like good in theory, but just didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, but like whatever. When I can afford it, I will pay somebody to professionally make my covers look pretty. But uh, by the time I can afford that, they're just gonna have a backlog to contend with me for a long time. So in the meanwhile, royalty free images. I'm a gem. So anyways, I'm gonna order my proof, or at least get the option to order them, and I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna try just adding in some of these random little like snippets into like kind of a semi-weekly-ish vlog. So one of the things I wanted to briefly discuss was this book. Initially I was doing my book talks as just kind of like their whole thing, and then I decided I'm just gonna throw it into these. So I am just about to drop this off at the library, and I figured I would talk about it before I do such. So this is Murder at the Christmas Cookie Bake Off by Darcy Hanna searching for that killer ingredient. Now, this is the second book in the Beacon Bake Shop mystery series, and I think she has four currently published, or yeah, four currently, and then I think the fifth one's coming out soon. I swear I just barely saw a thing about it not too long ago. I do love that my library included two little snippy snips here, that it's a mystery book, but also a Christmas book. I love that they have like that specifically, because truly, this is a Christmas book. So if you are wanting a book that's like just to match the vibes of like Christmas time and trees and lights and baking and all of the things, this is a great book. Like if it's like maybe like December 12th on, like this is a good book to just like read as you're surrounded, you're looking at your Christmas lights, you got the smell of cookies baking and you got all of your scented candles. Like it's just, that's how this book feels. And of course you've got the murder mystery side of it. But the thing I love about her in particular, and I don't know if it's like, I feel like it's on purpose, but maybe not, I don't know. But I love that she just like flirts with this line of is it paranormal? And is it like fantasy? Just like, a, just a smidge, just a hint. Cause like you could totally brush things off, but like the first book you have the captain who's a ghost. And then in this one, there's Mrs. Claus. Actually her name is uh, Miss Nichols, but. St. Nicholas. It's fine. And it's so cute because you're like, is it gonna be Mrs. Claus? Is she the murderer? Is she the helper? Oh my god. And like truly I didn't know for like the longest time, which is like right up to the end too. So it was so good. But yeah, you got like this hint of like, is it Mrs. Claus? Is it really? Because like it's not written in a way that you're sure or not and I love that. And I love that about her books because I just love this like hinting uh, potentially like fantasy 
things. It's so much fun. So anyways, this is just a brief synopsis of this book. I absolutely loved it. I love these books. If you love cozy mysteries, you should read this. If you're looking for a Christmassy book, you should read this. You don't necessarily need to read the previous books. It does give a little bit of context, but like these are okay as like a standalone if you just want just like one book of that type. So far hasn't been a great writing day, but it's been a good catch-up day <laughs> because I had three books that I needed to do reviews for and write up my notes, record, edit, all of that jazz because I'm behind on my edits. So I got all of those done. I got the one that needed to get up today out, it was this one. And then I got the Patreon book done as well, which is this one. This was not, not, not the book I loved. And I now just need to edit this review and then I can drop these back off at the library. I've got a nice little stack. I also need to finish reading the book that I need to read today because it's due now. Joys of the Library. When someone decides they also want it, suddenly you're like nine weeks to read it becomes like two days. So I need to do that. But I'm also like, if I'm going to do it, like why not at least get one of the books that I need to get notes done from dropped off too. So I'm trying to get through my notes from this book because there's just a few of the spells that I'm like, I would really like to be able to reference back to these when I need it until I can buy the book because like books are expensive. So I got to carefully plan which ones I'm going to buy until, you know, I have enough money to go and buy the books that I want and then it won't be much of an issue. I can just like tab the books and the pages, but until such time, I have to make notes. <laughs> and there's a few of these that I really like. And so I'm writing through this one and then I have some notes from the Labyrinth book that I want to write down so that I can like make my own Labyrinth because he tells you kind of how to do that. And so I want to get those written down. I don't know if I'm going to get it done today because I also really should be reading, but I'm not. And I also need to actually order my proof copy because it's now ready. And I need to start writing the next book wanted to get at least three chapters done today and it's like already almost like 11 30 so we're getting there it's one of those days where it's just you know I feel like my time management is just not it where I think I can get these videos done in like an hour because that's how long it should take in my brain and it doesn't so I think I'm gonna wait to edit the other video finish my notes from the one book and then try and get reading to get the other one done so I can drop it off and not get a late fee because it is the season. So that's the game plan. And then maybe after that, get heavy from work and then I can write for the rest of the afternoon. We'll see if I can do that. Finally finished the notes for this one so I can drop it off. Now I have a few minutes before lunch. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit of reading done for the book that I need to have done today because it is due today. So hopefully I can get it done. Well, this is new. They just added it to my cart on Amazon. You used to have to go and add it and have to follow the link and be like, well, for legit, do I actually want it? But now it's here. Also, we're gonna have the banner of awful, but like it's gonna get here hopefully soon. So unlike when I had ordered my proof copies for Witch's Night, where I got the hardbacks and it took forever, it literally took like eight weeks to get here. <laughs> this is fast. Supposedly, I'll see it when I see it. Supposedly, it is going to get here by the 17th. Today is the 13th. Oh, if I could get it in just a few days. I was genuinely prepared to be through the next draft of a book before I got it. Because like, I'm not gonna take that long to draft, but it's gonna be some time. Because like, actually I'll pull up the camera, or the camera, the calendar and see the timeline. But I was pretty confident I was gonna get it done before I got here. Okay, maybe not completely done, because <laughs> it is a lot of chapters. The next book is going up to 54 chapters and I have 18 currently written. And so like, I was really anticipating getting it like the 22nd to the 27th, which is pretty close to the end. Cause if it came on the 22nd, if I stick to my plan, it would be like working on chapters 37 to 39. If it came later, it'd be like on the 27th, like 46 to 48. So I figured it'd be a while, but instead if it comes on the 17th, I would be at like 28. So that's gonna be really cool if it comes when it says. That would be amazing, but I have a feeling it's not. 
but like that's just from past experience maybe they have a publishing location you know to actually like make the book more locally or like there's not a huge demand maybe it's like not the month you know i don't know because like it's it maybe there's just not a huge demand for books especially brand new books that aren't out yet to be made um in february opposed to like the end of the year where people are like i don't know holidays and stuff i don't know but be really cool to get it in like four days here is the book that i've been talking about that i need to finish reading it is 12 30 and i've got to leave in not too long <laughs> like i have just a little bit of time before i gotta go get the hubby from work and uh yeah we're gonna see if i can get this done today so i can drop it off when i'm out and about so murder at the blueberry festival by darcy hannah and i'm like not particularly for <laughs> So hopefully, but also the back end of the book is going to be the recipes. So hopefully I can get this done in time because I don't want to get late fees. So here's to hoping. The quest is becoming more dire. I need to leave in about five minutes. <laughs> We've still got like less than 10 chapters because I think it's like 43 for this book. But I still got a ways to go. Starting back on writing for the day. So I just did my word count total from what I had written before. And it's at 9,000 or 19,000 something words, which is pretty good. And that's 19 chapters. So nailing it. And I have outlined all up to 54 chapters. So to do, well, actually no, 18 chapters, 18 chapters I've written. I'm writing 19 today. So I'm at 19,000 something words with 18 chapters written because they're always a little bit over and eventually that extra adds up. So a little over 19,000 words gonna write chapter 19, 20, and 21 hopefully. Today it is afternoon. I have a couple hours before I gotta start on dinner. So let's get to writing. Just finished up chapter 19. So getting there. It was 1,046 words. Again, my usual thing is I try and get at least every chapter to be a thousand words because then when I want my word count to go up, it's a lot easier when I have a thousand words to start with instead of like, oh. <laughs> so got there hit the 20,000 word mark for the overall thing, which is awesome. So now on to chapter 20, and I had to rework it a little bit for the scene to like, cause it kind of just keeps playing out in the next couple of chapters. So it needs to not <laughs> happen the way I had initially planned because I had planned it slightly different and like, I kind of needed a little more space, but like also doing this is making me have to like really space out my scenes way more than I normally would. Because like, we're just, we're going through the day so that people can truly appreciate the effort that's involved. Again, this one, it probably won't sell terribly well, but like writing through these situations, it's just like, it's just, I know that I'm projecting so much in this book. Like you're supposed to only put like a little bit of yourself and it's like, just like, you know, that scene for like, where it's like, just a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then like, boom, we, we have a lot of that for this book because having lived through these exact situations truly like I'll switch it around a little bit here and there but like the essence is there and like the treatment is there and it's like I don't miss this because <laughs> again I took notes of what I went through at all of these different optical places so it's not based on one in particular and like none of the characters are a specific person it's a combination of a few different people for every single character that I had to deal with and like even some of my non-optical jobs the people are in these roles in the book but yeah I also forgot how fun it was that I haven't come up with a name for the doctor so it's literally just in red the doctor <laughs> so I gotta figure out a name for them because I have no idea chapter 20 is done it ended up 1010 words and I have about a half hour left, so hopefully I can get the last chapter done. And uh, I just feel exhausted writing this. I'm, I'm ready for my character to have options and get out of the situation, because like reliving it, it's like, yeah, that was like really, really terrible to go through. So I'm ready to get done with this book because like I want to have it written. I want it to be a thing for like past me to like get out of that situation. But I'm also just like more excited to work on other projects because like I have another idea of like a different series that's more of like a fantasy series that I'm really getting excited about, but like low fantasy. So it's still 
in our world, but with fantastical creatures. But I have to finish this one and the next one before I get started on that, I think. So we're getting there. But this book is just exhausting because it's like reliving these moments and you're like, oh my god, I forgot how much this sucked. And yet I didn't forget at all because you're like reliving it and you're like, yeah. So anyways, we're getting there. Now the good part is coming. And uh, finally the turn in the book, we're there. So now I just gotta get to the end. Finished up chapter 21, which means I am done with writing for the day. I forgot how exhausting it is <laughs> to write so much, but we're getting there. So got my three chapters done, which means I got a section of the book done, which is nice. So now I am gonna go cook, finish in just the nick of time. I had three minutes left for the allotted time that I had for writing, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go cook me and hubby some dinner and then probably read a little bit tonight because I need to get a little ahead on my books because I spent all of today reading the other one. So I need to get started on the witchy book that I need to read for like, not tomorrow, but the next day. So like Thursday? something like that. And I also know tomorrow's gonna be a hard day to get a lot of work done because it is Valentine's Day. So I don't know when we're gonna go out and do date night stuff, but I do wanna get a little bit of work done. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. So I thought I should actually talk about the book because I think this video is gonna have two books in it, so that's fun. But really quick, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the book that I finished reading at some point. I don't know when in the vlog it's gonna go in, but I had finished reading Murder at the Blueberry Festival by Darcy Hanna, and it was so, so much fun. I absolutely love that book. That series is just so much fun. Like if you want to have a cozy mystery, it is so great. Like definitely read these books in order. You technically don't have to, but like the little side plots are just very, very slow builds. And so like you can kind of jump in, figure out what's going on, but like there's something about like the as you're going thing with like the different characters and stuff and why they're there and all of that to the point that like I kind of want to reread the first book that I had read, which was like the fourth book in the series, just to read it so that it's like, oh, now I know what's going on and why and blah, blah, blah. So I kind of feel like I might re-rent that one from the library. That's the joys of the library. You can do that. And uh, reread it now that I've read the other ones because like the build up there is really fun and I didn't know you know what things were there before or not so anyways really love that book if you love murder mysteries once again I didn't know who it was going to be and it was such a plot twist ending and it's like it's one of those endings that you're like I don't necessarily disagree but like you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> and the whole book was like slightly, slightly like Viking themed. And I absolutely love that because me and my husband love Norse things. He works a lot with the Norse gods because we're pagans. And so like, it was fun to see how some of these characters kind of had like Norse elements to them. And it's like, mm, that feels like a Loki vibe. And like they kind of mentioned that and it's just, it's fun. And I loved it. It was so good. And it would be a great like summer read because it is based in like summertime. And it was like, you know, fun to read through that as it's cold. And like currently right now it's snowing. So it's like, I would, it just reminds you of summertime. Like these books are definitely really great for being geared towards the seasons that they are, but I read too fast to wait for that. <laughs> so if you're not like me and chaotically reading so many books, like I'm already in the thirties of books this year. So it's a lot <laughs> that most people don't do, but I highly recommend these books. I absolutely love them. They're phenomenal. All right, back to the video because that's all I really have to say. That's why I feel like I'm just not gonna have like full videos for them anymore. Cause I'm like, I don't know, I just like the book. So we're just gonna have little snippets. And then we talk about the books that I read at random in these videos because I don't read as many fiction books as I do witchy books. So like I only read like maybe one a week ish and I just happened to have a pre-recorded one and then I started this week. So we have a two, a double feature this time, but normally I'm not going to. So anyways, uh, back to the video. Because it is Valentine's Day, I'm having not high expectations of a lot of work to do, but I got my thumbnail ready for the day and this is currently rendering. It's like nowhere near close 
yeah, red, like creeping. <laughs> so it's gonna be a minute. I'm probably gonna go get ready, like brush my hair and put on makeup and such. But mostly today is a very, very low work day. Like this and record one snippet for either the vlog you're seeing right now or the next one, that's about it. <laughs> because after that, I am going to be getting groceries for my dad and then hanging out with the hubby, having Valentine's Day dinner and such. So one of my husband's things is that he'll hide my presents, especially for Valentine's Day in particular. And he's like, you're so oblivious. Go look in your room. I'm like, what are you talking about? Behind the curtain is a box of chocolates. Look at him go. Got my sweet card already. It's super sappy and I love it. But I didn't know I was getting this one because this morning I thought this was it. This was this was the box of chocolates and I was like, oh, it's cute, it's got puppies. But no, he got me a real box of chocolates too because this is like five pieces. And this little one was uh, all I thought I was getting. And then this was just hidden back there that I just didn't see it. And he's like, you're oblivious, honey. Go look in your room again. And I'm like, why? Oh. Starting the day off with my lovely helper who makes it so easy to work. So today is the 15th and I am surprised. My proof copy actually says it's gonna get here tomorrow. Not even on the, like, what was it? The 17th that they said? They said it'll be Friday. So a day early to potentially get here, which is awesome. And I am still <laughs> working away on writing the next one. I really thought I was gonna have that one like almost done, if not done by the time that one showed up. So this is really interesting because it kind of changes up my game plan of like, oh, well, how am I going to analyze my time of between the two projects? So yeah, it's getting there though. Today's goal is to get chapters 22, 23, and 24 for the grave shift done. I also need to finish reading the book, the elemental healing book and get that recorded and up and also working on some exercise because I need to do that. So get started. Finished chapter 22 and it ended up being 1,004 words, which means my grand total is 23,000 words. So doing pretty good. And I'm gonna take a little break and then come back. And I think I'm gonna just knock out writing this morning and then work on reading the book I need to for the day. The message of the day is that I can't actually get anything done if I leave the room. Because the second I leave, the mischief begins again. Are you gonna eat the mouse? Is that the plan? Every single time. Like, I'll be in here, entertain her, play for a little bit. She'll get tired, go nap. If I leave, come back, we have to start the whole process again. <laughs> it's a good thing you are so cute. It is raining outside and I have officially completed chapter 23. So this one ended up being 1,023 words, which is pretty good, which puts the overall word count at 24,000 words. If you couldn't guess, <laughs> it's uh, pretty much gonna keep going up at roughly the same pace. I think eventually it'll surpass again as I get a little bit more than 1,000 words each, but like it takes some time to build that up. So going to take a little bit of a break, get something to snack on, and then write the last chapter for the day. Chapter 24 is done, and I have got the overall word count to 25,000 words, which is pretty good. So now on to the other things that I need to do for the day. I need to finish reading that book and then get that video up because it still hasn't been done yet, and it's the video for the day, so a little behind schedule, but I kind of feel like doing writing first thing in the morning is the way to go so that it is just done and I don't have to think about it. And so I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing it that way. We'll find out. But yeah, writing is done at least now to go finish reading for the day. Almost done with the book, but figured it was time for some lunch. Just recorded the review for this book, now to get it edited. And then I would like to still exercise today. I have been doing better. I'm trying to do 15 sets of stairs every day. And I'm currently at like nine, as in like, deliberate sets of stairs not just like if I went out to like put on my makeup or to like go and change laundry because ours is downstairs like 
actively doing the stairs. So I'm doing sets of three and I've gotten up to nine. So three, 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 <laughs> and want to get up to 15. I don't know if I'm going to, but I still want to do a Jane Fonda workout today and potentially do 30 minutes of active walking. I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> because it's getting late and uh, I don't know that that's going to happen, but going to try. We'll see. I may not be able to cross off everything today, but I did it. Well, this was rendering, which actually is also done because it finally rendered. And here we are at the end of the video. So some things I learned, this is the first time I've vlogged this kind of a style of video for a very long time. And I think as much as it is convenient to use my phone, I do prefer the camera. And I tried with my GoPro over here, but like the quality of this, if I could grab it, quality of this little dude Addo is like just not it. Like it just, doesn't have this quality and it sucks because it's like it was still expensive but it's more of like oh look at outside look at the pretty and this is more like hey look at the person <laughs> kind of a camera and this is like what what am i looking at everything's blurry i feel like i am recording on a vhs so i think what i'm gonna try and do is mostly for the next vlog for the next week is record with this and i have found my external hard drive I can grab it without knocking everything external hard drive so that I can save the clips from the camera over here and then not have to worry about trying to find it when the time comes because I record a lot of videos in the week and I don't want to accidentally delete things because I'm like oh that shirt I did that day when I'm recording all week <laughs> so I think I'm gonna try this next week and see how it goes where I'm using this instead of my phone because the convenience is there but the quality is here so let me know your thoughts if you care or if I'm just crazy so anyways love to know what books you are writing or reading in the comments down below if you want to check out my books they are linked down below I do think I might like change this bookshelf because like I think I could condense my, like, it's mostly just like cleaning supplies, but then I put my like reference books that I've been using for the book that I've been writing <laughs> over here. And I think I could move them so that like when I'm chatting, instead of like everyday sun magic, correspondences, book of shadows, outer temple, like it could be my books and like uberly casual <laughs> uh, promoting myself. Cause you can kind of see them, but I don't know. I'm not great at marketing. <laughs> So anyways, if you want to check out my books, they are at my blog down below or you can find them on Amazon. And yeah, until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon.